So officially, welcome to the second uh, UCLA International Symposium on Cardiac Autonomics. Uh, this year, it's a special joy for me to uh, introduce uh, our inaugural director of the UCLA uh, Neurocardiology Research Center of Excellence, Dr. Ardell. And uh, a heartfelt welcome to all our colleagues from the U.S. and outside the U.S. Um, I'll have Jeff say a few words and uh, we have our chair who's going to uh, inaugurate it for us. Jeff. Well, first of all, welcome to past friends, future friends, potential collaborators. Uh, sometimes I refer to this field as Zen cardiology <laughs> because of the fact that when things are in balance, regulation is good and your patients do well. Uh, collaborations work the same way. When you work together as a team, listen to each other, have fun fights, explore concepts, you move forward. And I'm very excited to have the opportunity at UCLA to have the team that I have here, both in clinical and preclinical for neurocardiology. Uh, this event is now the second event in this series, which is going to be a perpetual meeting every two years. We look forward to expanding it, but most of all, I look forward to growing this field, and I really appreciate everyone that's come here to be with us today. Great. So, um, uh, without much ado, and exactly on time, uh, it's again a rare honor and a privilege for me to introduce uh, my chair, Dr. Fogelman, who in 1993, I met him for the first time, and I barely had a license to drive in America at that time. Uh, I must say that this has been a unique investment for an institution just based on how academic medicine works. And uh, we are very privileged to be physician scientists in this campus. And uh, again, Alan, thank you so much for taking the time. We look forward to a few words from you before we get started. Thank you, Shiv and, and, and Jeff. I'm really honored to be able to participate in the opening of this symposium. Having practiced cardiology for a very long time, I believe that uh, what you're working on is probably the most important part of what we can do in cardiovascular health. What I think is most wonderful about the approach uh, that Shiv and his colleagues have taken and that you and your colleagues have taken is to recognize the complexity of the problems that you're addressing. The complexity is such that you are committed to a multi-generational approach to solving these problems. We're thrilled that we were able to recruit Jeff to do just that with Shiv. And I, I, I'm so pleased and proud to see the young people that are coming into this field and who recognize the importance of the autonomic nervous system in cardiovascular medicine. It, it's a, uh, an area that is so essential in so many different ways. Cardiac arrhythmias, I believe, are an uh, obvious component of cardiovascular health and disease in which the autonomic nervous system is important. But as you all know, there are a lot of other areas in the, in the in this area uh, that uh, will be affected by the autonomic nervous system. So I applaud you for working in this field, which is as complex as it is, which is so critical to our patients, and which you will solve partially by yourselves, but more likely by the people that you train. Thank you very much for allowing me to join you this morning. <laughs> 